Hey YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from Jacques Gaines Photography, and I am here to talk to you about a Sunday afternoon today. I went out and shot some street with the FZ2500 slash 2000 for you Europeans out there, and I'm here to talk about my experience. <music> Hey YouTubers, now before I begin this video, I just want to tell you guys, check out the site already. I have a playlist on the FZ2500 and my experiences with it so far. There's also one for the FZ1000 when I did own it. You will be surprised by my results. Also, you might want to check out the street photography stuff I have using the G7X by Canon. <laughs> I just want to mention to you guys, I have been taking uh, photography seriously in, for the last two years, but I have been doing a lot of fashion shoots and a lot of fashion photography, which means a lot of color shots. And it's just not the same as doing street photography. They're so different of beasts, it's unbelievable. The only similarity is the fact that you have a camera in your hand, but they're not the same. So now I'm talking about my learning experiences with the street photography I have taken. Here's the slideshow of what I've done so far. I used this camera today to film, uh, to take shots in black and white. So wanting to get black and white results, I found it very, very beneficial to have a visor that was showing me a black and white result. Before you lose it on me and say, it's crazy, this guy's just using presets. Watch out, because with the FZ2500, if you put in your settings that you wanna have a JPEG and a raw file, it will give you as a result a JPEG with the treated file and a raw file untreated. It'll be a color shot, no effect on it, just a raw file. So that is super beneficial for me and I thought it was really cool because I could get the image and frame in black and white because I can tell you now, you will frame differently when you shoot in black and white. It's not the same. Colors attract you to different framings. I think that if you're looking through a visor in black and white, when you're looking at your shot, you're looking more for context. Whereas when you bring in color, your eye will be attracted more towards beauty. That's why a lot of times street photography is in black and white because you're working towards a context, a human condition. <music> Another thing I really liked about the FZ2500 when it came to actually shooting street photography was the long focal length. Now, if you talk to any purists about street photography, they'll tell you, well, it's kind of cool to have a compact camera, to have yourself a 2470, and that's about it, or even have a fixed focal. And these are the purists, and I agree with them for a lot of reasons. It is very cool to have something in your pocket that you can just pop out. And as you can see with this thing, you do not have something in your pocket that you can just pop out. Just forget it. But with a 24 to 480 equivalent focal length, 
you bring your photography candidry, is that a word, to a new level because you can be extremely far away from subjects and get the shot. Now, a whole shitload of purists are going to freak out on what I just said. And yes, you are probably right. You need to be in the experience to experience it. I agree. But you can also get some great shots if you're extremely candid. And that's what's really nice. Another advantage about the FZ2500 when you're shooting street photography. If you want to give comments, please do. They are more than welcome. Let's try to keep it constructive. Want to hear what you guys have to say. Any advice you have, please let me know. It is more than welcome. It's all about discourse and talking about what we have to talk about. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality stuff. Check out Behance. If you like this video, do not forget to click the thumbs up at the bottom. If you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, subscribe. And don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing. It's a very good test one too. I like that microphone just stuck out there. Anyways. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality stuff. Check out Behance uh, to keep in cahoots what I do. Test one, two.